All right, in the last video, we talked about Gay-Lussac's law. In this one, we're going to talk about Avogadro's law. Um, so in the two video, two or three videos ago, we talked about, we started with Boyle's law, then went to uh, Charles's law, then Gay-Lussac's law. Now we're going to Avogadro's law. So let's just kind of put them all together, okay? We have Boyle's law, which is P1V1. P1 times V1 is equal to uh, P2 times V2. We added in Charles and Gay Lussac's law when we, when we added temperature to those T1, T2. Uh, now all we're going to do is add in uh, moles for Avogadro's uh, law. And if you remember, Avogadro is the guy that determined that there are 6.022 atoms of anything for one mole. It's kind of like you know, there's 12 eggs in a dozen, or 12 things in a dozen. It's just a, a ratio, uh, just like anything else. And so it's commonly used uh, in chemistry. Um, normally you'll see it with little lowercase n right there. So you'll have n1 and n2. Um, and basically what this is saying is that this is directly related um, moles, or Avogadro's law or atoms are directly related to volume, which kind of makes sense when you think about it, um, because if, you know, you have a balloon, let's just say, of helium gas, if you add more helium uh, moles or atoms to that, the volume's going to increase. So that kind of makes sense. It's, it's a little intuitive. Um, so basically, if we take and add all these in here, uh, and cross multiply, it'll give us our adjusted formula, and we can do and predict some chemistry with it. Um, so if I take and multiply all these things by each other, I'm going to have P1 V1 times N2 T2 is equal to P2 V2 times T1 N1. Okay, these two are synonymous statements with one another, uh, basically. Okay, so now all we need to do is take what our problem is asking us for over here and plug it into our formula, plug the values into our formula. So let's read the problem. A balloon with a volume of 220 milliliters is filled with two moles of helium. To what volume in milliliters will, with the balloon, uh, will the balloon expand if three moles of helium are added? to give a total of 5 moles of helium when the pressure and temperature do not change. So, it already tells us pressure and temperature don't change. So we can go ahead and uh, forget about using pressure and temperature in this entire formula. Cross those out. We're going to be left with volume in moles. So it gives us our first volume. We'll do this in green here. 220 milliliters. Just write that down here. 220. Oh. There we go. 220. <clears throat> pardon me. I'm starting to get a cold, I think. 220 milliliters. That's our V1. And then it gives us our uh, N2, which is. Let's do this in yellow. Maybe in. Yeah, yellow. Um, our N2. The N2 is the 3 moles, because remember it says it will expand if 3 moles of helium are added. So that's our N2. And this is going to be times that. Let me put parentheses around both these here just to be thorough. Um, times 3 moles of helium. Okay, that's going to equal our V2 which, let's do that, and maybe blue. Um, our second volume, uh, well, actually, our second volume is what they're wanting to know, to what volume in milliliters. You can tell I haven't done these problems ahead of time because I haven't even read this enough times to know that. So it's wanting to solve for our V2, and it does give us our, N, our N1, our first set of uh, moles. So let's go ahead and do that in, let's do that in, like, maybe a pink. Okay, so our V1 is the 2 moles of helium here. So we do have that, or our N1, sorry, is the 2 moles of helium. So we do have that. Uh, so let's do 2 
moles of helium. All right, times R uh, V uh, two, which is what we ultimately want to solve for. So V two. All right. Well, we know that if we take and and we want to get V two by itself, we just divide both sides by two moles of helium. That'll cancel out, and we'll be left over here with two moles of helium. Uh, just HE. All right, so let's just grab our calculator, plug in these values, and solve for V2. 220 milliliters times 3 moles divided by 2 moles equals 330. So our V2 equals, what was it, 330 did I say? Yeah, 330. 330. 330 what? Moles cancel out. Milliliters, it wanted it in milliliters. So that's our answer. 330 milliliters. So that's two significant figures. We had two there, two there, two there, two there. So it's already in the right significant figures even. That's how you do uh, Avogadro's rule to solve for um, uh, solve for uh, volume or uh, moles um, using Avogadro's law. And you could have just as easily they could have just as easily have given us um, you know the second set of volume of the balloon and wanted to ask how many moles of helium gas uh, it could have that it wanted. And so we could have done um, our formula here for, you know, V1 would have, in that case, uh, let me scroll down a little bit here. V1, in that case, would have been uh, 220 milliliters. Uh, and they could have been asking for N2, so that would have been N2 and equal to volume 2, if they would have given this originally, it would have been 330 milliliters times our uh, volume 2, which we just found out, um, or I'm sorry, plus our N1, which was, uh, what was our N1, the 2 moles, I believe, let me go over here and see, yeah, 2 moles times the 2 moles, right there. Um, and we would have divided by 220. That would have canceled out. 220 moles. <clears throat> Grab our calculator. 330 times 2 divided by 220 and it equals 3. And 3 was our, v, our, our N2, if you remember in the original problem. So that's how you can just as easily go back and forth on those um, with that and you just solve for the unknown. Anyway, I hope that helped. Thanks for watching.